Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is a national holiday. Today is also the last day of November, which is crazy. So it's November um, 30th. <laughs> it's a Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Also, I want to say my voice might sound weird. I woke up this morning with a sore throat, so um, I don't know if my voice sounds different. <laughs> but anyways, I just got back from taking Jesse to school and running to Walmart to get some medicine <laughs> for my throat. <laughs> and um, I wanted to come home real quick and record this video for you guys because I got to do some sewing today. And uh, I think my throat is sore because of the cold air at night. Cold air really affects my um, throat and I have really bad um, tonsils. Probably should have had to take them out years ago, but now I'm too scared to do it. Anytime the weather gets cold, my tonsils swell up and causes my throat to be sore. Um, so yeah, I'm dealing with that. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, so today's a national holiday. Last one for November. And I do plan on doing some of these in December, and then I'm going to do them next year, too. Because <laughs> I really like doing these uh, little craft projects throughout the year for random things. But this one is actually going to be a Christmas gift, along with just being a national holiday. So today's national holiday is National Mason Jar Day. <laughs> so um, in honor of that or whatever, I made a mason jar cozy. Here it is. It looks like a pencil. <laughs> uh, the pattern has NO.2 number 2 pencil uh, stitched on it. I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. I haven't decided there's a thread on it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is all scrap yarns, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's all red heart. Except maybe this gray. This gray almost feels like a cotton. I'm not sure what that is. But it's just black buff. This is like um, cornmeal or daffodil or something like that. It's like one of those random ones that uh, my Walmart doesn't sell, but someone gave me some. This gray is a random one. It feels cottony. <laughs> and then this is the petal pink or perfect pink. I can't remember. But yeah, so I made this little cozy yesterday. I'm gonna give it to Jesse's main teacher. I'm going to put some Christmas candy in it, fill it up, and then I'm gonna put a gift card in it. Uh, probably Starbucks, cause she seems like the kind of person who drinks Starbucks. <laughs> I'm not sure, but um, I don't know. I don't know if I should put Starbucks one in there or if I should put maybe just like a Walmart one in there. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I thought it'd be cute. I'm not gonna put the lid on it, cause it could be like a pencil holder. I guess I could leave the lid in case she wants it. But this is actually the jar that she's gonna be getting because this one smells like pickles. <laughs> this is a used jar that I just had in my cabinet. I pulled it out to make sure it fit because when I was making it, it looked small. So I'm gonna go to the Dollar Tree. Our Dollar Tree has um, jars and pick up a jar uh, that's new and doesn't smell like pickles. <laughs> but uh, I thought it was so cute and it worked out super quickly. It's all half double crochet. I did leave out one row um, two rows technically, two rows of sti uh, slip stitching because when I did that, it wouldn't fit on the jar. It was too tight. So I just ripped it out and just finished it off with the half double crochets and it slid right on there. There is kind of a line there, but I'm not worried about that. <laughs> so I don't know if I want to stitch the number two on there or if I maybe want to put like Miss C or her whole last name or something maybe. I don't know. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> but I still think it's so cute. I love making jar cozies. Actually, I have a Valentine's Day one that I use every year. I have a St. Patrick's Day one and a Halloween one. So it's a lot of fun to, I use mine as uh, bouquets. I usually get plastic flowers from like Dollar Tree and stick it in the jar and it's just cute, you know, sitting around. But this is a free pattern by Kitty's Creations Designs, I believe is what it was. It'll be for sure linked down below if you wanna check it out. And there's actually a few other pencil related things. They, they also have a, um, corner to corner banner that you can put like the initial of the teacher on and there's also like a coffee like a travel coffee mug cozy so cute teacher gifts and uh you know like i said i'm just gonna fill this up with some christmas candy and a gift card <laughs> and call that a day <laughs> because uh simple is best i think i was gonna do the banner but i just didn't want to do the banner because <laughs> it's kind of big and um i have no energy but i think this is so cute and Jesse knew exactly what it was. He seen it when he got home from school yesterday. And he said, hey, it's a pencil. And I said, it is. So I'm glad, you know, if a five-year-old can recognize it, so I'm surely she will. <laughs> but I think it's so cute. So happy National Mission Jar Day. And I realize people, most people probably celebrate that by canning. <laughs> but um, I don't have anything to can. And plus, I don't really know how to can. I do want to learn how to do that when we get our own house and have more space to store the supplies. But uh, Anyways, these were these were uh, homemade pickles by a guy here in our town. He he sells them at craft fairs, and they were so good. They were gone super quick. <laughs> I love homemade pickles. But yeah, so there's my mason jar cover. 
This technically isn't a mason jar. This is a no brand jar. <laughs> but uh, no one's gonna know. <laughs> but uh, I just think that's so cute. So definitely check that out down below if you need to make a teacher gift or if you're a teacher or if you just like school supplies because I love school supplies. This would be cute sitting on a desk with pencils and pens and stuff sticking out of it. So yeah, check it out down below if you want to and celebrate Mason Jar Day by making it cozy. <laughs> there are a ton of free cozy patterns on Ravelry, all kinds of them. They have um, holiday themed ones, they have just regular ones with like meshy things. And it would be cute to make the meshy ones and then put a battery operated <laughs> candle in it because it would shine through and it would look really pretty. But uh, yeah, I just thought this was cute, so I had to make it. <laughs> and it popped up super quick. I made it while watching Devin play a video game yesterday and uh, I finished up pretty quick. But yeah, so I'll leave that link down below if you wanna check it out. And they also have some other free uh, patterns if you wanna check out their the rest of their website. And I'm gonna see you guys in a video here in just a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna record also a No Kitchen Name episode today. Mostly so I could put all these squares away <laughs> because um, the Baha'u is getting pretty big. <laughs> but I'm gonna hop off here and I'll see you guys in that video later today. Bye guys.